guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. We're going to do an art journal page today. Now, if you've been with me for a while, I have quite a, quite a few videos on my channel of making junk journals, magazine journals, uh, scrap mail, junk uh, mail journals, all that kind of thing. I have some more in the works, but you guys have been requesting for an art journal page. So I thought, let's break open and turn the autofocus off. What the heck? Let's break open um, my, what is it? Magazine junk journal. This is a uh, Faber-Castell uh, catalog that I got in the mail. And I get tons of different catalogs in the mail. And this just happened to be the one I chose because it's very uh, inspirational in it. You can see there's different uh, pictures. And um, I'm going to see if I can move my camera this way just the littlest bit um there's you know art pictures and art supplies and it's very uh you know look at this inspirational so i just when i have cast off paint that i'm not using i will uh you know just kind of go on and, and do it on there so let me just show you a few pages that i did this might look familiar because um this was a doll that i just got somebody made for me, Candy made it for me. And that is what, uh, this is the one clown girl that I made in here. I will um, link at the end of the video, a couple videos that I've done uh, art journal pages in if you wanna go check them out. Uh, but yeah, so I did this one. This one is just with stencils and some um, crackle. I love the, uh, Folk Art Crackle. This is a very cool abstract one that I did just using lids from, um, you know, paint bottles, whatever, you know, whatever I have lids to, uh, and some dots with a Q-tip and this great background. Uh, I will try to find this one and link it. And then this one I did with just a stamp you know, sometimes we have those face stamps that, you know, are just kind of faces. Um, so I did that and kind of did a background and, you know, very easily did an art journal page. You could definitely put a quote on here. And like I said, there are many different, uh, just inspirational pictures in here that, you know, you look at and you're like, dang, you know, and the colors and just, just everything. Oh, it's just so much fun to <laughs> use. Now I have used <clears throat> Rachel Ray. I've used my Oprah. I've used, I mean, you can use whatever you have. If you go to your local library, you can get, um, they're always giving away or throwing away your, their old, uh, monthly magazines because they have magazines in there that you can, you know, look at or take out. And, um, <clears throat> when they're done for the month, they get rid of them. So why not? Or, just go to your local grocery store on the way out and pick out your auto trader or one of those. Uh, it's a newspaper print, but who cares? This is extra glossy and I got to put gesso on it anyway. So you know what I'm saying? So I'm only going to do one page. Um, and I'm going to show you just a few things. So let's get to getting. I'm going to use some Delta uh, Ceram Coat gesso. Doesn't matter. If you don't have gesso, I always tell you guys, look. Y'all can leave me comments out the wazoo. It is no dang different whether if you don't have gesso, but you want to cover up a page to use your white uh, acrylic paint. The only difference is, and you can use your white paint, put a little bit of um, like I use, I use eggshells. I crush them up real good. You can use that. You want something for texture, but you don't have to. This is gesso, which has just a little bit of uh, texture in it. So you know, don't be, don't be sweating the small stuff is what I like to say, because, um, we're just having fun here and playing and why, you know, why get hung up on that stuff? Matter of fact, I'm going to use a bigger, excuse my arm, a bigger brush just to kind of get to, get to going. And I'm not going to wet it just because I don't want the page, the page is going to get wet enough. Um, now if you're using a thinner, page. If you're using one of the auto uh, zones or whatever, you know, whatever you get at your local grocery store, what have you. Now I have extra on here. So I'm just going to kind of peep back here and kind of clean it off. Right. And it'll dry very fast because there's not much and it's a very thin 
Now, let me tell you, I love, I love gesso, but you don't always have to have gesso. Plaid Folk Art has a very uh, wonderful gesso, very inexpensive, and you can use your coupon at the local art and craft store around you. And if you want to, you can go to plaidcrafts.com and they are having, oh, let me look real quick. Let me look while this dries for a second because they are having, um, oh, there's a little ploop of dried gesso there. No big deal. Let me look. Just bear with, bear with. I get nothing for this. I get nothing. Don't yell at me. Don't say, girl, you're trying to get us to pay. Don't say nothing to me. Okay. So if you go on plaidonline.com, plaidonline.com, I'll put the link down below. I don't know if you've ever went on here before, but there's all kinds of great free eBooks and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, they give you a, a Mod Podge uh, free ebook to download where you get like these pictures of like flower petals and all. Oh, it's so much fun. Anyway, you get, let me see. Okay. You get 25% off site wide. So if you use the promo code, code July 2017, you get 25% off on all the products. And if you spend $50, you get free shipping on orders over uh, $50. So it's only valid till the 31st of July. Go check it out. See what they have. Um, and like I said, all their brands are there. You can see all kinds of different um, projects and, and uh, items that they have. It's a great site. So go check it out. Uh, and their gesso is great. And like I said, okay, enough of that. All right. So now I'm going to take my heat gun. And I'm just going to quickly dry this. Now you see how this is folding up a little bit? If you don't want that to happen, throw your gesso or paint on the other side and it'll work out. It'll work fine. It won't uh, fold up or wrinkle. I'm not going to do that today because I'm just not that worried about it. But I know it bothers some of you. And that goes for using your printer paper as well. Now, you see I have this here. And these are a little bit thicker pages, but um, I mean, look at the colors on this page. Come on now. Um, what was I going to say? If you are using something, like I said, thin, and you're gessoing it, or maybe it's too thin, take your printer paper and just glue it on like we did the ATC cards. Remember the ATC card backs that we made out of printer paper? I'll link that down below and around here as well um, for you guys. Use Just glue it on with a glue stick. Rose Cadell asked what glue sticks I used. It was Avery glue stick and it's the disappearing color. It goes on blue, but I also love any Elmer's glue stick. Um, remember these, you know, they go on fast, they dry fast, but you can definitely use Mod Podge or Elmer's uh, glue all, all that kind of thing. But this is what I used Rose glue stick. And I'll try to remember to write that in the, your comment that you asked. Okay. So this is basically dry. Now I want to do like a abstract background. We're going to do a very um, accessible. Let's move this back just a little bit. You don't need to see my stomach, do you? Uh, we're going to do a very accessible uh, page, not using much more than kind of home products and acrylic paint. Now, I tell you guys, when you guys go to the store, this is going to be a beginner's page. We're using a magazine as our art journal. Of course, if you have a moleskin or any other kind of, uh, what other kind of uh, Art journals are there dilutions i mean there's a lot or homemade those are fun too i have many of them um you know this is what you do it and it doesn't matter but we're going to use this we're going to use some home items beginners we're going to go in now now i love colors um that are darker and i know some of you write me and say hey can you do some brighter colors it just you know it, it's not your gig to do the darker colors so we're going to do some pretty colors today I'm going to take, we're going to grab a white. Oh, my point was, if you buy your Roy G. Biv black, white, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, everybody with me, black, white, you can make all these colors without having to get different shades of purples and blues, okay? So I have some white. I'm going to put my gun over here. I'm going to do this. I'm just going to put some of the colors on here so it's easy uh, access for me. This is my Mod Podge uh, craft mat. <laughs> I love it. I use it so very much, okay? I'm going to use Royal Violet. I'm going to just give it a little shake and a little squeezy poo. I'm going to use 
<laughs> I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Perfect purple. Of course, use what you got, right? Oh, there you go. Excuse me. I'm going to use purple. I'm going to use some blues. So I'm going to use a uh, aqua from Folk Art. Oh, up here, we'll do it. Oh, I did squeeze. I squeezed and didn't know. That's what she said. I'm going to use some cobalt teal. White's going to be our friend. White's going to help us. You can see this is almost the same color. This is a little greener, but you'll see when the uh, water, I mean, when the uh, white gets on there. I'm going to use some yellow. Oh, no, girl, what are you doing? And I have some pink. I have some, oh, geez, oh, Pete's. Um, some Martha Stewart Satin Granny Smith. These are my favorite color. And we'll just do like that. Okay. Again, not the biggest deal in the world. You use what colors you have. I'm just going to do some bright. Now, if you only have your blue and your purple and your yellow, mix and get. And if you guys want me to do a video where I use just the primaries and show you guys to mix and to get colors, well, let me know down below. So I'm gonna take a um, brush, a paintbrush. I couldn't think of the name, it really left my head. My gesso's dry, or your white paint, or hey, if you don't even wanna do that, don't. Hey, maybe you wanna mix a color in there, you know? That would be cool. I'm gonna go in with the darker blue, and I'm just gonna kinda, I don't wanna cover the whole page. I'm just gonna put some of that. And hmm, this is the same color, so I'm just going to pick it up and mix it here. A little more opaque. These are more transparent, as you can see. Maybe I should do this. Wait. There we go. That makes it better. So I want these to be a little bit more opaque. So I'll just go over them real quick. And these, like I said, are more transparent. If you want them more transparent, just wet your brush. And you can see, you can see some of that white underneath. That's what I'm going to do for that. Wipe off the green. I just stuck my finger in. Okay. And I'm going to leave that wet and I'm going to take some white and only certain parts, some transparent and some of the opaque. And I'm going to hit it here. I don't want to blend it completely. I want that blue to come through. And I'm only doing the one side of the brush and then I'll turn it and then do some here. And even, you see how it's streaky? Make it streaky. And just run it. We're just adding, we're going to pull some of that white. And you can see, you can see it's pulling up some of the brush strokes from the gesso, which I love. Mixed media, this is what it is. And you can even go in with a little bit more white and tap it if you want just to get some other texture. See how cool it just, you pull it on and you can pull the colors together. So now we have all these different textures and all we did was use a paintbrush and some paint. We have that, we have the uh, transparent white, you can see the background coming through. Now, maybe you wanted a little bit of text to come through or something, so you don't have to have as thick as a, uh, a gesso, you could use just a light coat. It depends on what you like. Um, and then we have the opaque. So we have all these colors and textures going on and we just use one color. So now I'm gonna just kind of clean my brush off and dry it for the most part. I don't want it to be too wet. And I'm gonna go in with this blue, the other turquoise. And I'm gonna go in straight just to see, you can see how it's bluer. Can you see that on there? Let's see. See how it's a different blue than that? This is more of a green blue. It's hard to see the light. And I'm just going to take it over all the rest and just dip. And it's much more, it's more transparent, even as a full strength color, which is okay. I'm just kind of going in. I'm going to cover up the rest of the white. Now you can vary your colors with white uh, of the turquoise, right? You don't have to have all the colors 
um, if you don't, you know, if you don't have them, it's okay. And now we have this background. It looks a mess, but you know, we're gonna dry it. Use your hair dryer. Go to the thrift store. They have uh, my thrift store has them for a buck or two. If it was cheap to ship, I would buy them and send them out to people. But honestly, this paint dries so fast that literally put on one of your favorite YouTubers or your favorite song and when it's done, it'll be dry. We're not, you know, we're not selling it. We're, it's for us. It's what, you know, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So now I want to add some purple to this. Now I usually like to go light to dark, but because of the purple, I want to add, I want it to be kind of cutting the blue in half, if that makes sense. Now you can really see the different colors. You see how this is different? And that is just a great looking background. Now watch on magazines and that kind of thing, unless it's fully dry, if you stick your finger on there, like this is fine, but this is a little thicker. So it takes another minute. And if I hold my finger there and pull it up, it pulls some of the paint off. Now, I'm not mad at it. It's just what it is. I have an old card. This is a old uh, credit card, uh, Mac card, gift card, whatever you have. If you don't have it, use a, um, I love using a ruler. This ruler is great, but use whatever you have. You can use a piece of cardboard works. And I'm going to dip it in this purple. Now I have two purple sitting here and I'm just going to work in both. Kind of old school cutting it up, you know what I'm saying? And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to kind of divide with no purpose. I'm just kind of laying it down and you want to go back and, and you can use your ink pad too. You know, if you have a color that you want to use, use your ink pad. I'm just kind of putting where I want it, right? Where I'm seeing very simple. And I'm going to lay this down here, Stephen Percy. Okay. Lay it down. I'll lay it down. I'm going to take a brush doesn't have to be fully dry and what I'm going to do now if you like this you know as straight as it is and like um, harsh keep it because I think this is a great look I'm going to go in and pull it with a brush um, my brush is damp not wet but I'm going to grab where it's wet and you see how we're kind of and that's what I want to do and go both ways I'm sorry if my arms on the way in the way I have Emily's boyfriend going to help me hopefully get my situation here a little bit better because I'm having a hard time with the light in this room and um, my table and my camera, uh, just everything, just everything. I need a fresh eye. All right. So hopefully he will be able to help me. You see how I'm just kind of blurring it out? And you can go both ways. You want to go this way and then go this way. You do you, Bill. You do you. And you see, and now this one. And it's not the biggest big deal, but you can see how, you know, you spread it. Now it looks blue coming up on there. Uh, I don't know why. Why? Why? Oh, this light drives me crazy. Okay. Let's see if I can get that a little bit. Where's the color? Yeah, that's not going to show the purple. It's such a nice color, but I don't think you're going to be able to see how purple it is. Oh, well. So we continue. I don't know if you could see it up here either. No, it looks blue. It's purple. I trust me. It's purple. Okay. So now I'm going to take the brush that I have. We're just going to roll with it and I'm going to go in here. And I'm just going to get it on both sides and mix them if you want. And hmm, oh, you know what I'm going to do instead? I'm going to take my spork. Do we all have sporks? I'm going to lay this. I'm not going to waste that. I'm going to go in and dab it on like that. And I'm going to put some, yeah kind of run it through just for some different lines, just for some texture. I'm 
wonder if I made it wadier. Water, 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 water. <laughs> more water. Let's see. More cowbell. Let's see if that makes it a little bit better. If it's runnier, nah, not really. So don't worry about watering it up. Just drag it. Just add in a little bit more. Just a little bit more. All right, I think I'm going to go in with, what am I going to go in with? Da -da 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 we want a lighter color. All right, the other day we used this and it dried and it's a little, it's a little hard. So we're going to cut it. Now you could save this for texture if you want. You could do whatever you want, but you see how we get a clean one. I like to rinse them, not going to lie, but obviously I didn't rinse it and it dried. So I'm going to go in with some yellow and some of this green. Um, I'm going to go in with green first and I'm just going to tap it off. Now, if you want it not so stark, like, you know, like we're doing in the uh, shapes, right? Let me show you. You can also use this little wedgie side. These things are great. You get them for a buck. You get tons of them. See how we're, maybe you're, you know, you like to do three in a row. So you see how you're getting more bang for your buck. Very simple. This is very abstract. We're not going for anything, um, you know, too major. We're just doing a abstract art and I'm going to do, we're going to have fun in a minute. I'm not going to keep you here all day watching me play because I could. Now listen, you could take your ruler, any ruler that you have. I have this one and you can do the same thing uh, as you do with the credit card. Like I said, and you can dip it in and this is longer. Um, you know, what would be fun. Let's try this. No, I don't want to use purple though. Let's use Let's use yellow. So I'm going to clean this brush off. Anybody watching Big Brother? Anybody? Anybody? I'm going to take some yellow and I'm going to dab it like this. And I'm going to lay it down and drag it. new paint on it each time probably better if the other backgrounds dry because it's going to drag it into each other but it's all right oh yeah oh i'm gonna do this yes okay love it oh love it look at that all the colors blending oh gosh okay i get so excited all right very like i said very abstract now something that i would do because i'm weird this way and this is just how I like to do it I would take my uh, debit card or you know whatever credit card whatever you have there or even this and as some of this is still wet because it's not wet enough that it's going to necessarily blend and make a crappy color and I do mean crappy color brown you're still going to get the beautiful colors but they kind of mix and mingle and I mean, look at that. How do you even go wrong? Now, what do you do to break this up? We got a lot of blue. We got a little bit of the yellow, a little bit of the green. What do we do? Well, here's the fun part. I'm going to take some white. I might even take yellow. We'll see. I'm going to take some white. I'm going to take clean water because that water obviously needs change. I'm going to rinse off my brush, but I'm not going to dry it. I'm going in. This is one of my favorite things to do. All right, I'm going to do this with the white and then clean that off a little bit more water there with this purple that I did. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put a lot of it and all this paint I have out here. If I don't use it, I'll just coat the other, uh, pages 
So the ba their background's already done, so I can sit and play. All right, a little bit more water. Okay, now I'm going to hold this up. I'm going to turn it this way so you can see it a little bit better as I do it. I'm going in. Brush is wet. It's like ink. That's what you want it. And I'm going to put my brush and pull it back this way. And it's going to drip. Again, that way. Come on. More water. You want it to drip like your faucet's running. The more water, the better. Don't be afraid of water. Each time you go back for more, wet your brush more. Go back a couple times. Look at that. I'm going to go in a little bit more water. Start at the beginning again. And I'm scooping. I'm like, whoop, scoop it up. Okay. And you can see it's dripping and I'm just going to go and help it run down a little bit. Come on. Now maybe I want it a little bit waterier. So I'm just going to squirt it with my. There we go. Go back in. Oh, let's try the bigger one. Mix it with some teal. Oh yeah, that's going to run. Just going to help it. There you go. There you go. That's all. <laughs> okay. So you see, that's what I like. I can't help it. Now I'm going to hit it with my heat gun just for a second. Because it's a lot of water. Not the biggest deal. Because I'm almost done. But I want the next thing that I'm going to do to kind of mix in with the purple, but stand out, if that makes sense. So now I'm going to go in with my white. I have a wet, remember my brush is wet. Look at that. And I'm going to throw it just like this. And you're going to see it's going to mix together and kind of run and it just pulls everything together. Almost looks like a bird wants to be at the moment, but I'm okay with that. You see what I'm saying? Look at that. That's it. It just, it's abstract. It's gorgeous. And what I love is as it dries and if, you know, like with this purple, it kind of lightens it a bit. So it's not as uh, harsh, the drips, but, and it's a bright page. Now, if you look at this and you're like, oh, it's a little, you know, a little too uh, dark for me still. Let's add a little bit of the yellow. Right? Maybe you want some yellow in there. So I'm going to just kind of water it a little bit. Same deal. And throw some of that in there. And we're just making it abstract. Now you can hit it on your hand. You can hit it on a, I don't know, like that, you know, like to get smaller. If you want, I just kind of dig doing like this and throwing it because it makes me feel powerful. And that is it. That is it. Now, after this dries, you have a wonderful page. Maybe you have a stamp that you want to stamp on it with a word that says dream. Maybe you want to write something on there. Maybe you even want to draw on it when it's done. I like the abstract. I would like this on a canvas to hang on the wall. But this is so much fun. We used only items around here, a few colors. And, I mean, it really came out. Look at it. Let me move back a little bit on the camera. And look how pretty. We got the drips. Maybe you don't want as many drips. This is where you control what you want. And when it's dry, you'll see the colors kind of mix together. And, and I love it. Okay, so this is going to be 
just a couple tips. Let's say you do this and you're like a little dark. I, I'm not sure the drips are a little much for me. So you take a, a kitchen rag, paper towel, whatever you got. It's damp, but it's dry. It's more dry than damp, but a little, you know, go in and just barely touch on certain areas. Maybe an area that you think is a little too, too much to lighten it up where you, you see it already started to dry. So you have, I'll hold it up to the camera, but you, you see that underneath, but you still see that purple coming down dripping. So you're still getting that effect, but it's not as uh, strong. You know, I like things in your face. Too much is never enough, but some people don't. So it's all in what you like. And that just takes it back just a little bit where you see it. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Now look, see how it took it, but it, you can see just faint. I, I, I might like that a little bit more, I'm not sure. And I rhymed and I'm a new beastie boy. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And that's it. Very abstract, very easy, very start to finish, uh, beginner, a few colors. What did we use? We used teals. We used, uh, a purple. So you could really use one teal, a purple, some whites, a little bit of yellow and, and really make a beautiful abstract page in your art journal and look how much fun. And if you don't walk away with paint on your hands, you're not doing it right. Um, but listen, I have pink out. I was going to throw some pink on here. Uh, I changed my mind, but it's definitely what you want to do. Some weird things that I do is after this dries, <laughs> weird things. Um, maybe I'll do a short video. You know what? I'll do a short video, uh, once this is all dry and everything of something that I love to do, uh, to freak people out. But, um, yeah, so we're done. Abstract page looks awesome. You can go in, like I said, and, you know, make these thicker, thinner, whatever you want. It's you. Do you enjoy it? This is, you could get this done in 20 minutes. It's fun just to sit, just to have fun out of a magazine. Leave me a thumbs up if you guys like this. I love when I get the thumbs up, I know that you guys are enjoying what I'm doing and it helps me do more. Write me. All my information is down below. Let me know what you guys want me to show. You guys have been asking for beginner ATC cards and art journal pages. So uh, this one is out there for you guys. And I have a lot of things coming up. And yeah, I love you guys. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Remember, progress, not perfection. Please share me around. I appreciate it. And always keep your eyes open for another giveaway. I love you guys. Have a fantastic day. See you later. Bye.